Welcome to channel don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. Today we're switching things up a bit and diving headfirst into the world of hacking. Now before you hit that subscribe button, this isn't about promoting illegal activities. We're all about ethical hacking here, understanding vulnerabilities to build stronger, more secure systems. Get ready to level up your cybersecurity game because we're about to explore the features, the functionalities, and the sheer power packed into these seven must-have hacking apps. Let's get started. First up, we're kicking things off with a true titan in the hacking world, Metasploit. This isn't just an app, it's a comprehensive framework, a collection of tools, exploits, and payloads all rolled into one powerful package. Think of it as the Swiss Army knife of penetration testing. Now, Metasploit is renowned for its massive library of exploits. We're talking thousands of pre-built exploits designed to target known vulnerabilities across a wide range of systems and software. And the beauty of it? Metasploit makes it incredibly easy to search for, select, and even customize these exploits to fit your specific needs. But Metasploit isn't just about brute force, it's about finesse too. It allows you to create your own custom payloads those little snippets of code that execute once you've successfully exploited a vulnerability. This level of customization is what makes Metasploit so incredibly versatile and powerful. Whether you're a seasoned penetration tester or just starting out, Metasploit has something for you. It offers both a command line interface for the hardcore hackers out there and a more user-friendly graphical interface for those who prefer a visual approach. But let's be real. The real magic of Metasploit lies in its ability to automate the exploitation process. You can literally string together a series of exploits and payloads, creating a chain reaction that can compromise an entire system with just a few clicks. And the best part? Metasploit is constantly evolving. The community behind it is incredibly active with new exploits and features being added all the time, so you can be sure that you're always equipped with the latest and greatest tools in the hacking world. But with great power comes great responsibility, right? Metasploit is an incredibly powerful tool, and it's crucial to use it ethically and responsibly. Always make sure you have proper authorization before running any tests, and prioritize learning and understanding over just blindly running exploits. So, if you're serious about ethical hacking and penetration testing, Metasploit is an absolute must-have in your toolkit. It's the kind of tool that can take your skills to the next level, and give you a deeper understanding of how systems can be compromised, and more importantly, how to defend them. Next up, we're diving into the world of network scanning with Nmap, a tool that's as essential to a hacker as a stethoscope is to a doctor. Nmap, short for Network Mapper, is all about uncovering the hidden secrets of a network. Imagine you're a detective entering a crime scene. The first thing you'd want to do is get a lay of the land, right? That's exactly what Nmap does for your network. It scans a target system or network for active hosts, open ports, and even the services running on those ports. It's like having X-ray vision for your network, allowing you to see what's going on beneath the surface. But Nmap doesn't stop there. It goes the extra mile by fingerprinting operating systems and even the versions of services running on those systems. This kind of granular information is pure gold for ethical hackers allowing them to identify potential vulnerabilities and weak points in a target system. One of the things that sets Nmap apart is its versatility. It offers a wide range of scanning techniques, from the stealthy SYN scan designed to avoid detection, to the more aggressive Connect scan that provides a more complete picture of the target system. And let's not forget about Nmap's scripting engine, this is where things get really interesting. Nmap scripts are like little programs that extend Nmap's functionality, allowing you to automate complex tasks, perform vulnerability checks, and even exploit certain weaknesses. Whether you're a security professional performing a network audit or an ethical hacker looking for potential entry points, Nmap is an indispensable tool. Its ability to map out a network, identify live hosts and services, and even fingerprint operating systems makes it an essential part of any hacker's toolkit. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Always use Nmap ethically and responsibly ensuring you have proper authorization before scanning any network. Let's move on to Wireshark, the Sherlock Holmes of network analysis. 
While Nmap gives you the big picture of a network, Wireshark zooms in on the nitty-gritty details, capturing and analyzing every single packet of data that flows through your network. Imagine being able to listen in on the conversations happening between devices on your network. Wireshark is like having a wiretap for your network, allowing you to capture and inspect every single packet of data in real time. This kind of deep dive into network traffic is crucial for understanding how networks operate, identifying anomalies and troubleshooting issues. But Wireshark's true power lies in its ability to dissect these captured packets, revealing the hidden information within. It decodes the complex protocols and data structures used in network communications, presenting you with a clear and organized view of the information being exchanged. This level of detail allows you to analyze network conversations, identify specific patterns, and even reconstruct files that are being transmitted. For ethical hackers, this is like having a magnifying glass at a crime scene, allowing them to piece together evidence and understand the attacker's methodology. Wireshark's user interface might seem a bit daunting at first, but it's surprisingly intuitive once you get the hang of it. You can easily filter and search through captured packets, highlight specific data points, and even create custom reports based on your findings. Whether you're a network administrator, troubleshooting connectivity issues, or a security analyst investigating a potential breach, Wireshark is an invaluable tool. Its ability to capture, analyze, and decode network traffic makes it an essential tool for anyone working with networks. As always, remember to use Wireshark ethically and responsibly. Ensure you have proper authorization before capturing any network traffic, especially on networks you don't own or manage. Chapter 4, John the Ripper, the Password Cracking Legend. Now let's talk about cracking those passwords with John the Ripper, a tool that's as legendary as its name suggests. John is a password cracker extraordinaire, renowned for its speed, efficiency, and sheer effectiveness in cracking even the toughest of passwords. In the world of cybersecurity, passwords are often the first line of defense. But what happens when those passwords are weak, easily guessable, or worse, reused across multiple accounts? That's where John the Ripper comes in. It's designed to test the strength of passwords, identify weak links, and potentially even crack those passwords to expose vulnerabilities. John the Ripper utilizes a variety of techniques to crack passwords, from dictionary attacks which try common words and phrases, to brute force attacks that systematically try every possible character combination. It can even utilize rainbow tables, pre-computed tables of hash values, to speed up the cracking process. But John's true power lies in its customizability. You can tailor its attacks, specify character sets and even utilize word lists specific to a target or industry. This level of customization makes John the Ripper incredibly effective, especially when you have some information about the target's password habits. Remember the goal of using John the Ripper ethically is not to steal passwords but to test their strength and identify weaknesses in your own security posture. By understanding how passwords can be cracked, you can implement stronger password policies, encourage the use of strong and unique passwords, and ultimately bolster your defenses against real-world attackers. Chapter 5, Aircrack Eng, the Wi-Fi Security Auditor. Moving on, let's talk about Wi-Fi security with Aircrack Eng, a suite of tools that's like a Swiss army knife for assessing and potentially even bypassing Wi-Fi security measures. In an increasingly wireless world, securing your Wi-Fi networks is paramount, and Aircrack Eng helps you do just that. Aircrack Eng is all about putting your Wi-Fi networks to the test, identifying vulnerabilities, and ensuring that your data remains secure. It allows you to capture Wi-Fi traffic, analyze network packets, and even attempt to crack Wi-Fi passwords, all in the name of ethical hacking and improving your security posture. One of Aircracking's key strengths lies in its ability to capture and analyze handshakes, those initial exchanges between devices and routers that authenticate access to a Wi-Fi network. By capturing and analyzing these handshakes, Aircracking can potentially crack WEP and WPA PSK keys, exposing vulnerabilities in your Wi-Fi security, but air cracking's capabilities extend beyond just cracking passwords. It can also be used to perform deauthentication attacks, forcing devices to disconnect from a Wi-Fi network. While this might sound malicious, it's a valuable technique for testing how your network responds to such attacks and for identifying potential rogue access points. Remember, the goal of using aircrack ung ethically is to identify and address vulnerabilities in your own Wi-Fi networks. 
By understanding how these tools work and the techniques they employ, you can implement stronger security measures, such as using robust passwords and enabling stronger encryption protocols to protect your data and devices from potential attackers. Chapter 6. Burp Suite, the Web Application Hacker's Best Friend Next up, we're diving into the world of web application security with Burp Suite, a tool that's become synonymous with web application penetration testing. If you're serious about finding and exploiting vulnerabilities in web applications, Burp Suite is your go-to toolkit. Think of Burp Suite as a powerful intercepting proxy that sits between your browser and web applications. It allows you to intercept, inspect, and even modify the traffic flowing between your browser and the web server, giving you unparalleled control over the entire communication process. One of Burp Suite's key strengths is its ability to automate many of the tedious tasks associated with web application testing. It can automatically crawl web applications, map out their structure, and even identify potential vulnerabilities based on predefined rules and patterns. But Burp Suite's true power lies in its extensibility. It comes with a plethora of built-in tools for everything from fuzzing, which involves sending malformed data to an application to test its resilience, to scanning for specific vulnerabilities like SQL injection and cross-site scripting, or XSS. And if the built-in tools aren't enough, you can always extend Burp Suite's functionality with custom scripts and extensions, allowing you to tailor it to your specific needs and target environment. Whether you're a security professional tasked with testing the security of web applications, or an ethical hacker looking to improve your skills, Burp Suite is an indispensable tool. Its ability to intercept, modify, and analyze web traffic, combined with its powerful automation and extensibility features, makes it an essential part of any web application security toolkit. Chapter 7. Hydra, the Brute Force Beast Finally, let's wrap things up with Hydra, a tool that's as straightforward as its name suggests. A brute force password cracker designed to test the strength of passwords across a wide range of protocols and services. Hydra is like a battering ram for your network services, relentlessly attempting different username and password combinations until it finds the right one. While this might sound like a brute force approach, and it is, Hydra's speed and efficiency make it a valuable tool for ethical hackers and security professionals alike. Unlike traditional password crackers that focus on cracking single passwords, Hydra excels at targeting network services, attempting to gain unauthorized access by brute-forcing login credentials. It supports a vast array of protocols including SSH, FTP, Telnet, HTTP, and many more, making it a versatile tool for testing the security of your network services. One of Hydra's key strengths is its speed. It can leverage the power of parallel processing, attempting multiple login attempts simultaneously to significantly speed up the cracking process. This makes it an efficient tool for identifying weak or easily guessable passwords that could leave your network services vulnerable to attack. But remember, the goal of using Hydra ethically is not to gain unauthorized access, but to identify and address weaknesses in your own systems. By understanding how tools like Hydra work, you can implement stronger password policies, enforce the use of complex and unique passwords, and implement additional security measures like two-factor authentication to protect your network services from brute force attacks. So there you have it, seven incredibly powerful hacking apps that every ethical hacker should know. These tools, when used responsibly and ethically, can be invaluable for understanding vulnerabilities, strengthening security, and ultimately, making the digital world a safer place. Remember, knowledge is power, and the more you understand about how these tools work, the better equipped you'll be to defend against real-world threats. So, stay curious, keep learning, and always use your powers for good. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow tech enthusiasts, and subscribe for more content like this. Let us know in the comments which app you found most interesting or if there's another tool you think should be on this list. Until next time, happy hacking!